previous session we have pushed our application into cloud foundry using the cf push command but since we are using java 11 so we need to set some properties explicitly and then again we need to restage our application so is there any better way to do it yes there is a better way to deploy application in Cloud Foundry and we can do this with manifest.yml. In this session, we shall look into how can we deploy our code into Cloud Foundry using manifest.yml. So for that, first we delete the application that we have deployed in Cloud Foundry and we shall redeploy it using the manifest so cf delete minus r retail banking minus f will delete this application and we can see this this application has been deleted now we shall write our manifest.yml file and Let's write it and we we'll give the name manifest dev.yml and I have already tested it before so let me copy it here and let paste it. So here we have the few things. First we need to give the application name then the path is where our jar file is located which we wanted to deploy and the memory and you see this java property i have defined here and i kept it in the uh, directly under the project folder this is the environment variable we are defined it in the manifest.yml now we build our application again Though it is not necessary, but uh, let's do it because for simple manifest change is not needed. Now, our application has already been deleted and let's check other part, it's zero. And now we deploy the application using manifest.yml. So for that, we need to run the command cf push minus f and the manifest.yml file name so let's deploy it it is deploying our application and the application has been deployed successfully see this it is running now let's uh, refresh the cloud foundry and click on dev and we can see our application has been deployed successfully it is started and if we look at the environment variable environment variable has been declared so using manifest.yml we can deploy our application with a single command and we no need to set this uh, environment variable up uh, and explicitly and restage it let's look into the applications and we go to the new account and try it out just give a customer name execute it's working perfectly so let's take it and let's copy the url and try it in the browser it's working fine let's change the name just for testing purpose and give a different name it's working so we have successfully deployed our application into cloud foundry using the manifest.yml file now in the next session we shall look into how we can add database in our application see mo most of the production grade application is not that straightforward so they will use some external database to store the information so how can we use a database in a cloud foundry so in the next session we shall use the marketplace service 
and we shall look into how can we bind a database with our application and store some data or perform some insert delete and update operations so till then if you like uh, the video please like share and subscribe and we shall meet in the next session thank you